oh my goodness y'all i know i know it's been a long ass time i mean not that long i mean it's still libra season shout out to all libras i'm a libra of course my birthday passed on october the 8th it's still libra season i hope y'all get this out before what the 23rd 22nd whatever that is oh my gosh i mean there's been so much going on and just this month alone even with topics and i'm gonna late you know it's breast kids breakfast f cancers as usual it is dv awareness month which, well, the biggest survivors of, of that which you know i don't really care about saying the names and stuff but like i said y'all yeah i know that it's been a while quite some time since i got back and then i'm trying a new editing software so work with me y'all but you can't say this even with me kind of almost doing the usual two month break i've been doing well it was still better but i would try to be better because sister shout out to my sister named nick from nina's kitchen which you know i'm about to do the advertisement and you know in a minute it's about to be in the month it's gonna be halloween and stuff and then we gotta deal with the winter holidays and then next may be 2025 whatever shit we better vote a minute but at least i came back before gta 6 you can't say that so it's so it is some improvement but anyway y'all we about to get into these advertisements if y'all didn't know and then we gonna get into this review okay y'all quick little announcement or little prom uh, promo um don't forget to like subscribe my sister channel nini's kitchen this is a little preview you know you'll know what it is you're going to check over on that besides sis, we waiting come on sis for you to post a new video but encouragement y'all go check out her channel nini's kitchen with a z um she would do the mukbang, she would do storytelling, you know, blogs, etc. Just real quick, but like I said, shout out to my, my sis, you know. Y'all go ahead and, and subscribe and so forth. You can get likes just, um, from everything, even down to like uh, probably some, some videos about some edibles. But you won't know unless you subscribe. It's sis, we waiting. We waiting. And also, don't forget to follow her now. She'll eventually have like more uh, social media and stuff like that. Um, but for now, this is her. This is my uh, Nini's Kitchen. You see right here, Nini's Kitchen with four, seven, 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 seven. seven and don't forget to subscribe well, okay sis we waiting on you <laughs> all right what is up y'all here if y'all looking for some wonderful high top quality candles and also something maybe to light the mood and stuff then go ahead and go to lightmood.com and get you your candles this is um this girl founder co-creator and open business that's jayla self-esteem queen i'm trying to get her on youtube too but like i said you get candles everything to being creative overcoming the society and so forth she also offers such services as reiki healing sound healing and so forth in person and also over the i think over the line and or over the phone but shout out to jayla self-esteem queen likes the top girl candles for example they smell divine i have pop life whatever but anyway y'all get y'all candles today again her website is lockthemoon.com by jayla self-esteem queen all right i'm out okay y'all let's we're back from our you know our current little com commercials of my two citizen there's business and don't forget like subscribe to my sister nick nini's kitchen nini's kitchen with a z okay I'm trying to get her on there to motivate her just like Jamal made motivates me both her and my sister Jayla with her wonderful can openers and other uh, services um you know encourage me actually get on here go to the channel but let me let me go ahead and what they call that new term yap but you know stop all this yapping I'm sorry I am a yapper um i decided to come back at least with starting before i get into my topics which i ain't gonna lie some of them might be topics that were maybe one or two topics late i decided you know since it's around halloween time i'm not a person like scary shit scary shit but knowing light i thought about let me go ahead and review and recap lightning and maybe another movie that i know is supposed to have scary thing to us but it was actually kind of funny i'm thinking about doing that too i'm not gonna say it in advance i'm just gonna do it i'm not just gonna say it but you know like i said let, let me do a movie that i wanted to see that i haven't seen yet that i knew was lighthearted and i heard it got positive views it's possible that they're gonna do a sequel but it, it was a decent movie. I'm just going to tell you in advance before I do the brief recap. But like I said, you know, I don't like scary movies and, and stuff like that. You know, if I am going to do a scary movie, it has to be something like something like The Black Knight or you kind of laugh like it. But I usually like used to watch still ridicule movies with other people or like, you know, say somebody else is watching type of thing. But some movies, I, scary ass movies watch like, did y'all see that last Halloween? Wasn't it on Peacock or something? The last one. 
you know that's bad I, I never have watched the whole Halloween series but I, I'm ruining it for y'all because that's how bad it was y'all it sucks it sucked just to let y'all know but let me t do a little synopsis and then we'll get on to this review because I know y'all like dang you you still talking get into the damn review but don't forget to like share subscribe you know what wa wa watch your review thank thank you but um we'll pee, um like i said this movie it's based it came out um it was written by tracy oliver and dewayne perkins which dewayne is also go by his name dewayne as one of the characters in the book it's like um nine to ten characters most of which you know are actually popular all i have seen all of these people who are in the film majority of them like 90 percent of these people and most of y'all probably have seen them in this film but it's a black horny comic slasher film like i said it actually was a quite entertaining i could watch this with the lights off you person like i said don't like all that scary ish okay but like i said it, it's basically like sarah Charles black with the target by man cast you know they somebody who unaliven folks okay y'all my hearty but i gotta do better with writing stuff okay now the first scene we gonna get it real quick we got morgan which is played by yvonne or i'm not gonna I'll go by everybody's name whatever but we got the character the characters allison Griffin king uh shaniqua Dwayne, lisa nanamdi uh sean and morgan and, and ranger white um and we got clive connor and cameron carver which we'll get into later on but it's basically supposed to be, you see, a cabin, first sign there, a cabin that you don't see nothing else around. I know we're trying to get close to nature, but uh-uh. Uh-uh. But Morgan, you know, they, there's a song, what's it, I can't stand the rain or whatever, okay? But she, you know, you hear some, mm, some crook, you know, some scary noises, but it's actually, you know, her boyfriend, Sean, or man, Sean, fiance, whatever, okay? Uh, but you know the couple and he's like oh i gotta show you something stuff like that he found quote quote the game room y'all it's a room with the name game room in it but it's already some shit anyway like i said they by themselves like they ain't got no reception that is working okay working in uh, in where they at and they look and they see this game a sambo looking like a scene from bamboozled if y'all seen the spike lee cl one classic movie bam bamboozled which is also satire it wasn't a horror movie but it was a satire drama about the minstrel show and shit um and they just like oh okay and that you know Morgan, when they, uh, you know, the Sam, the Sambo is a face of a, 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 a Sambo minstrel. Yeah, ain't that the Sambo character? And he basically like, okay, you want to play a game? You know, um, <laughs> kind of like that. You know, play, pick, get card. And what it asks us, and got like one or two minutes, or you know, basically, you know, you go and face the consequences. And okay, who, you know, the character, is, the character is who was a black character who survived in the horror movie. And they just kind of brushed off and they see like these charms you know how you sometimes that you have like charms like for example in games like did y'all ever play back in the day y'all still play board games like clue where they had the candlestick and all this shit and also like monopoly you know such and such i think candy too, but you know games that have like you know the silver or something like that and um when they kind of like kind of talking or whatever and you know like i said sean taking pictures of the thing and then it's like the same little talking thing like okay your ass ain't up there you, you know your, your time is up why you answer the question the morgan is like uh how you how you know when we're not answering questions and shit okay but unfortunately time is up but before then morgan had noticed one of the charms the little golden charms game pieces happened to be a grandmother you know a um inherited what i guess loom i'm sorry y'all i do be slashing words sometimes but an inherited piece her grandmother's earring that she was given to that was a gold version you know there was a replica of some stuff like i said i think it was a microphone and also i don't remember exactly all the charms I got to watch the movie y'all see it yourselves but then all of a sudden it was too late and they were like boom 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 when they got to are they too late too late all of a sudden it was like pew 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 with some arrows and Sean is like nigga run as far as telling her cause 
he, they didn't answer the question and unfortunate consequences is you ain't gonna be here no more so she like oh she, she trying to get out of here whatever block whatever and she ends up basically you know church your brother and i think they showed the mass mass purse but she ends up being dragged and you know like I think you the intro or like your course you got the stereotypical people the, now you got the other people who are about to be part of this shenanigans they don't know about their life is on the line going up to the woods on this event where you got these college friends that is all black but you got one car you got the characters named Lisa you Lisa Allison and Dwayne and they all talking about oh my gosh it's gonna be lit allison kind of reminds me of Cree summer's character it wasn't her name freddie in a different world this free spirit and even though she has one you know she is you know you're gonna be classified she had one white parent whatever she was so free and she was like you know black power and all this other stuff you know that that's the character allison uh, allison reminds me of but allison and lisa are mind talking to each other they can hear each other you look at each other eyes you know some people you're like you know what you're saying but you even though you're not talking words, y'all know y'all talking to each other, but you know you're saying, know you what you're saying. I can see you. And because the way's like, you know, Nam Nami is not going to be there, right? And Nami, I'm probably some, uh, uh, messing up the name. That's Shaquit Walls, Mr. Walls. Uh, and look, look, I'm not going to say anything. It's not bad in a bad way. I'm just saying mm -hmm. sexual chocolate. Sexual chocolate. <laughs> sexual chocolate. <laughs> but anyway, um, that was Lisa's old boo that out has gave her problems, had her probably listen to Mary J. Blige. I'm not gonna cry over on repeat on the CD when Wendy Excel soundtrack came out on Spotify and shit over and over again. And that's where as I was talking, like she does she know that he coming or whatever? Because Dwayne is Lisa Lisa's, I guess, like besties and has always been like the comforter, like I'll be there for you to show Crawford and probably been the impact and shit, whatever. Okay. So they on the way up there. And then, at the same time, you don't see everybody when they're going up there, but you do see um, Shaniqua, the, uh, Sh 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 Shanita, uh, Shanika. I don't know why I'm kidding. Sequita. She ain't no Q in her damn name. Uh, Shanika. And she's, you know, at the regular gas station. And I I noticed, was the prices of gas, because this came like a, like September 2022, uh, so it was probably filmed um, for a time. The gas, it was already horror prices then, because I'm looking at the gas prices, and they like 3 30 3 something starting off and shit, and the other the second one is four dollars and all this other stuff i'm like see that's a horror movie right there y'all because we living there right now how much gas cost and shit and has been like at least a year or more and we have it's a miracle when we get under three damn dollars ain't that about a bitch but anyway send me ready she going into like you know the gas station you see um, you know a man sitting in front they see a guy who's sitting there look like a stereotypical you know his eye, eye he probably lost one eye or whatever he looking like he at least uh six feet you know no no seven feet and then uh, six inches whatever um looking like kane from wwe and shit and or you know <laughs> or well, oh my gosh why i cannot even think uh, uh, about the grim river out of all the damn people i cannot slip the tongue but he i know that y'all know that the rest of the women that's supposed to be kane's brother wv and um uh alexa <laughs> Who was the wrestler that had the tombstones? According to an Alexa Answers contributor, the tombstone pile driver is the signature move of the professional wrestler The Undertaker. Thank you, Alexa! I, I don't know why I could not get that, but how would I not know The Undertaker? She, the, his, still, his theme song is used as side bits. It, <laughs> but anyway, talking about brain freeze. But anyways, he's following the what like, watch niggas looking at you know at a bunch of she's like, oh shit, they got all the rap snacks. They got barbecue, grill, biggie, smalls, big gimme woman chance, every darn thing. Guess what? Now, as he's coming out now, she's still kind of like, oh, what the hell is she doing? She got like already a bottle of like, you know, barefoot wine and shit um as well. And then she runs into um a uh, cliff and she first thought it was carlton you know it's not as usual to be loved by anyone from a w he was like no it's clefton and he was said he was trying something about he was trying to find you know he uh, i couldn't find the charger for for my phone and stuff and i took the absolute this because i forgive it no 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 don't no, i ain't gonna ask for forgiveness y'all i i know all y'all most of y'all got iphones and shit and all this other stuff but i don't mind having an android 
Yes, I said it. I don't mind having an Android. I'm brave. I could do that. Because see, they were talking about, oh, you Android people. And you're like, what do you mean? What's for the Android people? But like I said, the Mr. Undertaker slash uh, Kane's brother, um, you know, kind of walked away. And I guess they went to uh, get their stuff. Because, you know, even she kind of was warning, I think, to, you know, it was kind of like, okay. Like, they know this dude, but they kind of like, how the hell he getting invited type of shit? So, you know, they having a talk. And like I said, you know, Android users are getting dissed again. So I have to include myself. Yeah, I'm, I gotta be true to myself. But anyways, um, back at the ranch. So around this time, uh, Lisa, like I said, and them just had pulled up. And also who is there is King. And King was one of those dudes that went to college and like got there, get, get, you know, been on the streets, whatever. But now he has changed himself and got, got married to a, he is married to his vanilla princess. Uh, queen, whatever. I mean, we we never see like you know besides these characters who the rest of the numbers. And we have this ranger. Coincidence's name is Ranger White. Questioning King, like what is he doing here? Lisa had like the rest, like we we're a lot. We all being here. I guess you you know basically uh, let him know like okay, you just shocked to see there's some black people who can you know who are here and they legalize and pay to be here. And he basically you know went away. With Whatever, right? Um, we'll see him a little later on in down the film. So then, you know, like I said, we could come there and get. Uh, um, but then, like I said, the Wayne mother and the first thing the Wayne sees and and, Le and you know he put two together with Lisa, uh, Lisa and them and uh, like I said, Elgin all like most of the gang. Yeah, by that time I was getting there, um, cause. Um, Nico actually I think comes a little later on and shit, whatever. And I think uh, Clinton as well too, but even though they kind of like, oh, still like, how the hell you, who, who, who is you type of things? Like they know him, but they don't know him. Hmm. But they, they all go in and they see, it's like, cause this is during Juneteenth. They are celebrating Ju the Juneteenth holiday in the cabin in the woods uh, where I don't even know, did they even have church? Did they even have a flat screen TV? Nobody like, I don't even really just like took like checked their phones or like checked anything the Wi-Fi. Okay, that go into play. Okay, but anyways, Allison, like you know, like I said, was looking and she seen the room at first and it was cl uh, it was closed and she was like you know trying to open the door and this is the one that ends up being the game room but earlier that day that the game room sign magically was not there but she was trying to open the door and like we well, you know probably the people i think it was either king or not this character because like i said Dwayne just like pushed up like you mean to tell me this nigga's here this no good ninja is here okay but anyways y'all like i said when they're looking around and allison can't get the door because they already they thinking that you know morgan and sean is okay you know like i said allison's being you know thinking and all them thinking like even if they are there they probably you know locked in the room enjoying themselves <sighs> did we almost have it all well yeah they were for five seconds i mean morgan did promise she you know before all that stuff happened that later on that she's gonna touch sean's penis but she didn't get a chance to do that um but anyways so let's like f fast forward you know to getting ready to play kids but before then like i said with king and uh uh, Nanami, Nanami are like talking outside. King decides to make this cool. He, he decides to be like, if sugar was a weapon, his ass had put all the sugar out. He's trying to make this alcohol, you know, like this cool, cool leg. Like, uh, you, you need to chill the hell on. Because this shit gonna kill you. Okay, <laughs> this much of Kool Aid, but it. The stereotypical Kool Aid thing, whatever, right? And I mean, like I said, they were supposed to have. So Allison is like one of those people, like I said, reminds me of like Freddie off of a different world. Y'all know about that cla that classic uh, comedy um, back in the uh, day that was based on a college experience as well. Um, like they reminded her, like, cause she was even scared. Like, I'm scared of white people. Like, okay, you got a white daddy. Okay, yeah, I'm scared of him too. I'm like, you know, 
whatever like they pull her wall like she's kind of like the most like you know fist up you know she ain't got like an arc on tattoo nothing like that but she is a person that knows a lot that i don't know maybe she's study of african african american studies or something like that you know she's all about you know i, I love i love me i'm black and black and i'm black and i'm black 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 and he's back and he's back and i'm black because i'm black okay that's what allison is giving us okay <laughs> So, let, let's go on to fast forward because a lot of stuff doesn't occur until the nighttime when when the show goes on, okay? Because this goes on like it seems like within a 24 hour something period. I mean, we've seen like what happened the night before and then the fuckery that comes the next day. So, it's about night time. They about to get ready, you know, because Alice already said, oh, you know, I brought in, you know, some Molly, you know, they got weed and blah, 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 and all this other stuff. And I, um, Adderall, I know she had some Adderall, whatever, and so Allison got some hold, was one people got some hold of it, and that comes into play interesting enough um, later on. So they about to get ready, like I said, to get spades, you know, you, you know, and, but, you know, Clifton is like, okay, I want to learn how to play. This is really how he is sounding in the film, okay? He is sounding like he is holding his nose uh, in real life when he talks. He will have typical, typical, you know, um, like, he is giving nerds or us, you know, to the fullest, like, he lives by his computer, whatever he does. He loves his computer. He lives by his computer. Um, he gives, like, I can't wait to I robot becomes in the real life type of thing. He wants to know how to play stage. Y'all, I don't know how to play spades. I barely know how to play any damn card games. I'm just gonna keep it real with y'all. The only thing I think I know how to play is go fish and match. I never was around until I got older but I know how to play spaces but I know that it's like supposed to be a game it's not because I'm like to say like oh I don't want to play that game but that's just something I never learned. <laughs> And I ain't the only child nothing like that. I mean, I had a generation of cat cat and stuff, you know, because the youngest sibling towards me, you know, if I want, uh, um, it's 13 years ago, I went biological. I went by my sister. Sister, sister will be like, you know, it's still like some years. I mean, you know, it's some years, but it's like, it's enough where, um, it, um, I had to catch up. Or, bro, uh, by the time I'm still a kid, and I mean, they old kid, uh, they older. So, <laughs> that's the thing too, but you know how everybody knows space, so, you know, they like, okay, they go, I guess they're about to go ladies versus the guys, but before then, of course, you know, the way he's feeling, he's dancing, he is in, like, this one, because he already got to the Molly, and like I said, they were having talks earlier, yeah, I forgot to tell you about that nasty-ass Kool-Aid, King realized, like, you know, even though he's, quote, changed for the better, and realized, like, uh, I guess, you know, he ain't from the streets, whatever, he ain't hood, whatever, he realized that nasty-ass Kool-Aid, alcoholic special, it was like, well, what did you expect? You ain't supposed to put the whole damn bag of sugar and Kool Aid. Oh, yeah, no, oh, no, no, not shit. I was surprised nobody brought in fried chicken, but that wasn't the script. I'm just was saying, just because. Um, but. Um, let me fast forward and like I said, they about to play spades and stuff. Kipper wants to know, but they about to get, 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 kick everybody's ass. But then, guess what happens? Dude, the lights go out all through the house. And they just like, what the hell is going on? You know, so certain doors and uh, like and stuff. And then they ended up like, okay, where the hell we were going to go? Whatever. So they end up going back to the room that was originally locked during the day. Okay. And they decide to go in. It's the only door that opens up. And it's the game room. And that's the room they go back to this damn game called the Blackening, which is the name of the game. Well, like I said, this morning, because it looks like the Ouija wars, they're typical. And basically, they stuck in this position because the TV is a retro TV comes on with the banjo, stereotypical banjo minstrel music coming on and shit. Basically saying, you know, babe, we gonna play a game, whatever, or you gonna lose, you know, if you wanna save your friend Morgan and stuff like that, whatever. And they show her in, in a chair and every damn thing like that. And in order for her, to stay alive you must answer 10 questions they seem like what the hell but then they realize okay fuck it, we might as well do that one of the first questions one of the few questions i don't know every single one of them but one of the questions was like asking about you know what does nwsap stand for um this was the first part i don't care like does everybody know the lyrics to lift from your voice and sing they were you know Mr. Sambo, Mr. Black Lightning, you know, the um, pew pew, you know, the unaliver, 
basically that's talking through this uh, character thing on it. And they even look like I said at the the little like I said um piece of the little um game pieces that's supposed to be representation of them like like i said one is a mic they realize like i said more morgan's earring that her grandma gave and stuff like that so like i said this is serious okay but anyways um the little fat boy says i never y'all know so but but guess who knows so allison and she was like they was like oh my gosh well, who knows the second verse blah, blah, blah. it's like 12 verse blah blah and here she go nah, 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 nah. she knew the whole thing so they got that question right um who i think it was somebody who remembers how many how many uh years was they would call like the the, the brown skin dark say oh uh, uh, um uh, aunt vivian was on fresh prince before she left and even I thought in my head, like, wait a minute, a minute. Because, you know, it's kind of like testing to see, you know, how how much black blackness you are. Or how black they black and they black black. You know, like I said, you know how to play space. That, that determines, I guess, your black card too, if it gets revoked or not. You know, is it platinum or is, you know, declined, okay? So, anyway, going back back to it. So, once they got quit, they got Chris and they got one question wrong. They're just like, what the hell? So, they show, like, Morgan is in his chair tied up on the TV. And you got a horse this to, with this mask on and he ends up taking off her wig and it is oh my gosh and then you know i think they see the dragged off and she's coming up this and she's trying to get out of there run out of there but she doesn't make it because when eventually they was like oh my gosh they're trying to get out of there and they're eventually you know because i um i'm trying to um save her but unfortunately morgan don't make it and then so again, this per uh, uh, the same uh, uh, on the lava up here shooting arrows and shit, right? And I forgot to mention, like I said, Wayne fell some type of way, and uh, 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 you know they don't show it. But before they play spades, as they say, they don't show it. But Lisa did. I don't know. It was just so random. I just thought about it. Uh, Lisa and now we hook up again because they, they went to some room because they had was said before they play spades. They were like, you can, y'all, you smell like some dick. This smell. <laughs> Okay, but um, but so all of a sudden, who in the on the live sits there and shoots the arrows, it goes right into King's arm. And I forgot he did end up getting, he did have a pew pew, but I, did any of the bullets even get the guy because it didn't stop, or maybe he had a bullet poop breast or something. And but um. I think Nick was able to one who up there like you know was able like to stab like you know hit him in the pinky toe or something had used one runner because you know eventually they was like oh you got three minutes so they were like we tired of this fucking but they had three minutes or whatever before you know you know the Sam I'm gonna say Mr. Sambo at the moment you know um uh behind the scenes because they were like this this was after they had to choose which y'all remember the commercial i'm uh, sorry i'm a little bit like i said on top of my head before they even got out and tried to say you know after the whole thing with the morgan thing this around the same time which was like back and forth they was like you know get rid you know you all gonna have to decide it's like it's what y'all lives send the person who y'all feel is the blackest that you basically got you know alive and see you know you know what jesus look like in real life basically you know if you believe in jesus high power whatever okay they said, because Cliff was like this, because they like, oh my gosh, nigga, you say nigga like, you this is that, and trying to decide. And Cliff was like, I'm not the most part, you know, he was like, he voted for Trump twice. It was just like a bunch of stereotypical stuff they were saying. It was like, oh, hell no. He was like, oh, we, you gotta go. So it showed him leaving. He has like, you know, this so-called weapon. Uh, he was like, you know, because the was, was like, person was going to be basically sacrificed or to save the rest of the crew, whatever, the remaining crew. Um, like I said, Clifton, which was kind of like nobody liked it, you know, nobody vibe with him anyway, and you know, whatever, they sent his ass up and, you know, shows on the camera supposedly outside that he gets um, hit with some arrows. But like I said, they are like, oh my gosh, you know, when they run after the whole Morgan thing, and they get sh shot by, the, by the, uh, the arrow, and then they just like, oh my god, so it gets a scene like they're able to get away from the, the, the unaliver, kill, kill it for a minute. So they think about the next step is Allison has said this. I know y'all don't want to hear this shit. But we're gonna have to do something. We're gonna have to go split split up. 
what the hell you mean Splip? It's a killer out here. You know, they were first trying to leave his arrows on their tires and stuff for real. You know, all in the Goodyear tires. So they stuck out there and shit and they like, what the hell we gonna do? And so, but they realized they got it. So they trying to find they the weapons that they can't find around the time. This is when Lisa gets the candlestick. And then she get roasted like, uh, okay, so we get stuff from Clue and stuff, whatever. And then sneak up, you know, they get grabbing their thing from Chili Surprise or I think it wasn't, uh, 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 you know, I'll smack your mama. No, I think it was regular chili and stuff, seasoning and stuff. I mean, they go, they, might, they were going to get cooked one way or the other. Somebody was going to get cooked, um, you know, on the live. But they got this, you know, they're trying to get whatever they can get as far as weapons. Because, you know, when King got stabbed, King got stabbed, got hit with an arrow in his exact same arm. <laughs> like, they was able to sit that damn area one more damn time. And they pulled it out. Then, when Housen tries to take it out of King, it accidentally like ricochets and hits you know like her arm so her arm is messed up too but she's still able you know to get away but like i said they split up where sneak uh, uh, king and allison by this time the adderall is hitting her head because first she's like you know let me be here by the trees and shit when they outside like near a forest and stuff you know it's their typical here they near some damn water and stuff like that and, you know jason's you know maybe uh cousin on this mo mama side and shit on the third side whatever you know from the pad pad at least not for church um was gonna pop up and they just like no we can't leave you here she didn't king, she didn't king like we can't leave your ass here and they like and he like um oh no uh you uh, know no, you know but rosa park made a difference and was by herself and she sat alone and she took it by herself and it was just like oh my gosh because she also took she took the messed up like the broken part or two parts of the air actually the same arrows you know like i'll tell y'all in a minute it became a stepping stool for her you know for them later on like you make your enemy a stepping stool you heard that stereotype so uh, it's uh, you know, not a stereotype but that you know quote quote old saying because those though that arrow he in he being helping as well so um, Sneaka trying to swim past by this small, like, little river, this little, like, a pond or whatever to go to the other side. And King was there. And so this fuck, the fuck, you know, the kid, kid with the black mask, whatever. Okay. Mr. Sam, this supposed to be Mr. Sambo and stuff that was talking through the game and through the TV and took out, tried to take him out. Or they took out Mo Morgan. They realized, like, Sean, too, and all that stuff. Um... He's trying to shoot at Shanika in the water. And like, oh, hell no. So, King, King, uh, King's trying to get her fight. They, you know, she, I, she's on, she, I think she was still in the water. He's trying to fight you. But, of course, King is doing the best he can. But already, not only, like I said, this is Undertaker slash uh, Kane's brother and shit. But, you know, King has already been injured. He's he already been shot, shoot, shot with an arrow twice. So, this is already... <laughs> <laughs> oh, on something that you know already a struggle, but they showing like you know like I said the effects of uh, having the, the outer walls plural because I could have swore Alice and it just took a couple you know because they showed the side effects there so I'm making a lurk and she took a bunch of so she up here putting more war uh, mud on her face and stuff and it's just like come on Alice come on girl. come on save your friends while wow. <laughs> nobody else to die okay but. She ends up taking her, so she was able. When King was about, to, you know, like was kind of like about to, like, you know, go you know, go see how heaven was and say tell God was up. Um, she came and she was the one who took out, you know, the key kill. Well, yeah, killer. Or did she? Or is it more than one? But they like, okay, because they took out this, and it's the guy, and she's like, and they like, that's the motherfucker that was at the damn car, you know, at the gas station. Oh, but wait, this is the fucker. So, they try to, of course, like I said, get back to, um, uh, find, because the other half, you know, you got the Wayne, who's still mad, at least, and I was like, you end up going back to this ninja stuff like that, he cheated you one of this time, and you want to, so, the Wayne already feels some type of way, whatever, and I think, of course, by this time, of course, the Molly's already ran off, and we probably ran off, you know, you know, shit like that, trauma sensation, you know, be ruining up people's highs and shit, and even on the weed, okay, whatever, <sighs> um, but, he felt some type of way but you know they go with the range range right the one that was stereotypical and stuff and then 
it's like okay hold, hold on y'all i'm gonna try to look because they like help us you know they have no choice even though they got a skeptical of him they have no choice because of course he pops up in middle of the like okay what's going on y'all need any help or whatever so they go with him and you know this card was like okay stay in here y'all because they in the, you know his little rain you know, yogi bear ranger um, um jeep and shit regular ranger and but when you know they talking and like I said Dwayne like I said feels some type of type of way about uh, about this stuff and they're talking and they like because he's you know like I said Ranger White tells them to lock the doors and they find the black mask and he, you know and of course they locking it on him because uh-uh you want to kill him but we already know that we just seen the Kogo kill so that means there's multiple Undertaker slash uh, minions running around here up here a, a lot of folks it took the time to plan that they know this person here this person here this person here this person here because they started naming their names Allison Lisa and stuff at the beginning with this, this the game games with all you know six seven of them well you know whatever and Roddy including Roddy Bobby Ricky and Mike and everybody else like I said this was plain this was plain okay this was this this dissertation okay uh you know you're gonna take some people out and using um stereotypical you know step higher okay and you know your blackness how much how are you black enough okay but they didn't let Mr. White, uh, Ranger White in, and also with this, the way he kind of treated them at the beginning, and when it was still light time outside, he ends up, he, he don't make it, he, he, he don't make it, you know, not, you know, um, Mr. White, you know, it's, it's, uh, he, cause he was trying to say like, yeah, if I'm the mask, but it's not me, it's not me, no, oh, but you know, like I said, uh, um whew. but anyways they all decide to go back um <laughs> but like I said yeah that, yeah he didn't make it the the killer like I said gets up now they ended up um go ahead oh that yeah, it was around the same time so everybody ends up um going back um, we're like Lisa and Nami, they end up, of course, we're able to get the car because they're like, oh, hell no, we got to get the hell out of there. And they ended up like running into, you know, two, which this is actually, guess what? Da -da -da -da, drum roll, please. It's a second kick. It's a second kill, kill. Okay, person. Like I said, so, um, um, you know, all of a sudden, she decides, you know, they they trying to, you know, uh, take this person, you know, like, uh, of course, not, not, um, then Nadi is trying his best, you know, take him out with her, but then all of a sudden, Lisa is the one open to taking them, and she gave us, like, I'm glad, and they, we didn't see the gore part of her taking the kid, the kid out and stuff, but we heard a lot of stuff, and especially, you say, because us black women, a lot of black women, or most of us have went through as far as carrying the world on the shoulders, you know, being the most disrespected uh, per, uh, person in America would be what quote from uh, Malcolm X but that does really happen it's about like sometimes being uh, disrespected because she took out all that egg because because she was like because even got a point like he's already dead <laughs> she was like you know you could tell she was like with the candle that that clue said what the hell is she I was so sick and tired of black women oh my god go do say everybody and shit and do all this and blah 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 but who the fuck can't feel some blah 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 I'm sick this this is for Morgan this is for Sean this is for this this is for you and some of this blah 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 and you know at <laughs> the point I'm in the corner they both like hey girl uh you can stop now I, I think they you know the skull been crashed in about at least 10 minutes ago and like I said <laughs> it's already <laughs> oh my gosh so but anyways you know by the time she come up it looked like some you it looked like some some pink play-doh was in her head some of the pieces because some of the blame matter had splattered like i said they don't show the actual killing you're just seeing like the cable so you don't see the gore you just hear the frustration and killing like part of us like we sick at black women we sick and tired speaking sick and shit but at the same time it's all this anger build up and at least like what you would say about shit because everybody you know, by that time, everybody else come back. King, um, sh 
Sh- um, Shanique, uh, Sh- uh, and Allison. Okay, and by that time, we st- we see the butt of Lisa's damage as far as like, so, okay, you you got you got pieces of Matt brain matter and stuff on, on his head, and it, they never show. They, you know, it was what like I said, it was a good horror film. It was a good horror film that's not disgusting or anything that way, because they was like, you know what? And, and by the way, too, this is what helped out how they were also able to get the second kill. They end up hiding what what they call it in be, in between like the vent or something first you know the and Dwayne vents his feelings about it where they whispering because they like you you y'all went away from me and left me no they were able to run went faster after the, you know the ranger got kicked and they ran away and Dwayne feels like basically it was like platonic filler of a boyfriend situation like every time and Nami sat there and he did you wrong you always you know you always came to me and I feel some type of way like I'm just a boy I'm just a gay you know like be- best friend to get used to shit and blah 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 but this also helped right before this is what helped Lisa too how they were able to get uh, which they didn't know at the time at first um, the, the second kid the kill pew pew um, Dwayne, when he gets nervous or something like that, or he feels agitated, he will throw up. So, that already, we were given exorcist, exorcist, you know, your mama sucks dicks, sucks cocks in hell, uh, Robert, I did see that part, <laughs> I never seen the whole exorcist film, but I always remember that part, your mama sucks cocks in hell, uh, throw up. <laughs> So that blinded the person they were able to distract and Lisa, like I said, did the finish him. Really? Okay, move that we got on the film. <laughs> like I said, if y'all ever do the sound by your if you know from Exodus, your mother sucks cocks in hell, you know what the hell I'm talking about. <laughs> God. <laughs> but anyway. So that help but like I said Dwayne feels some type of way he kind of feels like he's been you like been used and she just ends up back with this nigga but you know it seemed like um he was like you know it changed because you know first they thought about getting rid of his ass to a certain extent because he was the blackest because his he's African like no my dad is I forgot what country said Africa I'm from Oakland okay look that shit but um but other than that when they got, they went into the wallet. They're like, wait a damn minute. And they see the picture, which it was a picture in the beginning of the film that Morgan had put away. Like, sorry. And they had a picture of the last routine thing. And they realizes that, wait a there, there, there a minute. There's twins in this photo. So this is actually, they family, you know, they, we never got into like, Okay, why would they do some shit like this? And they really just, you know, maybe a few black folks and they killing us stuff, stuff. But you know, like they took time to make this game and all the stuff and make it interactive where they could see your ass and stuff and all the time they, you know, getting these cross areas. You know, archery. You know, even getting the archery again. Archery. The no only reason why I know about archery is one time because I did a school event and there was a man who gave me a card who was like who loved it. You know, the archery. I know I'm saying it wrong, but you do like the arrows and stuff like that. In a Native American, because me knowing about what the tribes about being, about being, you know, having what they call that damn Indian family, and that shit was not cheap. I know it was about damn about almost twenty damn years ago, or well, fifteen seven years ago, and that stuff there take that time. Even even the money and the skill you gotta have to do them darn arrows, he could take a thousand dollars, a thousand dollars starting off. Because I looked at that man's site. Okay, I know I'm rambling, but I'm just saying that that is no joke. So those, those probably were some platinum arrows and shit. Anyway, but so of course they are like back, kind of like back where they started, back in the house, because they realized like, wait a damn minute. Okay, even though we realize now it's two killers and the twins, they had to be somebody doing this stuff is somebody else involved with this they find the paper that look like you know you play let me get three dollars on and, and give me uh, three dollars straight and a dollar box on three two two five uh, uh um and, and stuff but they had the initials and they only a hundred dollars piece so we realized like these these um decoys in the uh, you know uh, uh, people under the basement race books were actually sit to kill each one of them like thoughts now first y'all when i seen this part i'm like oh this they're typical way and put in the sick car like sometimes how they would sell you know the amount or maybe with slaves 
let let me let me ask Alexa. Alexa, how much did slaves in America used to go for that that were sold for? Sorry, I don't have an answer for that. <laughs> okay, I was going to say, was she going to say something? I don't think so. But, you know, I think it was so like 200 or something. So I first thought, like, was that going by? Because they like a hundred dollars we were worth a thousand dollars because there was actually a hundred they had a hundred they found like i said you know an envelope from coal america or something like that bank a bank and only a thousand dollars in total they would have got it been paid just to unalive people that ain't even worth like saying killing an ant but anyways so they realized like wait a damn minute so they realized wait a minute we need to they end up find a way where they um are like down the stairs and they noticed the, the bodies of sheriff mr ranger ranger yogi bear white you know got arrows in them and then they see um the body the body quote quote of clifton but guess who pops up alive surprise surprise it's clifton's ass and he's like y'all hold up there and he better be like give me the you know give me the arrows of like give me the weapon slowly because they like okay why the hell are you doing this so he is a part of these twins of setting up and trying to get because they just right before he peered up there was an article they read about a woman that was the car that was unalived in a car accident a nurse or something a nurse student i think that was 29 and then it was like you know besides getting able to get air up a he was like okay see i want to know the reason why i you know that i did this and blah 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 and he wants to get he wants to play a little game. He wants to add, like, you know, he wants to uh, uh, saw character and shit, the damn ugly ass puppet again and stuff. But they like, oh hell no, if you don't take us out, we ain't got no time to buy about this damn game. You know, they already have us like F the game the first time I'll be after he faked his own death, whatever. And then uh, Lisa's trying to mind talk with the, the Wayne, like, you know, if you trust me, trust me. And they realize, okay, we got your, but they reconcile, like, you know, you are a friend. I don't look at you, you know, I look at you as my buddy's best friend. And like I said, and the deep, uh, on the deep, the poor apologizing, the demon apologizes, but he realized he, you know, he preached it, but he, um, guess they're gonna work it out him between Elisa as far as like the relationship, you know. So, you know, the first you don't see, does all try again. But at the same time, they're trying to talk, mind talking in the way, and they're gonna decide, like, okay, um, Dwayne, because they might mind talking to each other, they look and we can hear their thoughts. Okay, and I didn't know this worked. Dwayne, at least it's telling, like, she's like, she go, you know, because they like, again, you go get rid of the blacks first. At least it's trying to say, I'll file to myself. Here go Clifton. No, 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 no. It's not the way it goes. No, no, no. And at the same time, they finally go into, he finally goes into Detroit when he just yapping and yapping, yapping and shit. And about why he decided to do this. Because he's trying to say, do you remember the day of such and such here? You know, blah, 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 blah. Now, 10 years ago is the last time they met June, uh, June, uh, 10, 10 years ago. Morgan, uh, Morgan was the one that actually invited Clifton, you know, in sale last. And the reason why I want to call him that. Because they were trying to play space. He was like, I didn't know how to play space. And well, blah, 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 blah. And then they were, he was reminding Lisa that she basically, he needs a black car, of course. So he felt some type of way about how he wasn't black enough and stuff. And every darn damn thing, you know. And, um, I wasn't black enough and everything, and y'all in a big area, and I never had alcohol to this day. So he feels the type of way that his black card was, uh, uh, was taken, and, you know, because he didn't know how to play space riding, he felt like he was mistreated. So he decided to get behind the wheel, which nobody told him, you're grown ass, you, you still had a free choice, just like making this, taking his time, and doing all the six chicks to make a game thing, and betray, you know, betray tr these people, and, and do all the stuff or whatever, because he was also reminding them because nobody plays Spades of Vermont <laughs> early also in the film as well too nobody plays Spades of Vermont okay 
the with the technology, how the way he did all this third stuff and besides setup, he could have honestly, he maybe YouTube or Tickety Talk or whatever, you know, Snapchat or something, so find somebody. You know, he had issues within himself. No, he didn't have no girl blackness. He had a so no, he did have blackness. He had a black soul to do all this crazy shit and, and somehow go to that that terms of getting rid of folks okay so but he ends up letting him know that even the part of blacks he does have he can mind read he can read he can talk with his eyes and through his mind speak you know speak of uh, through thoughts too he's like i hear just everything because like i said the way number they were going to actually plan to never was going to hit him high and hit him low and uh you know, lie, but he would let me know. I can hear it, and he ends up hitting Nari on the side of like he, under his rib cage on the side. He's like, but let him bleep, blah blah blah. But what happens was also too is when, like I said, um, all the mercer, Allison and King, the ones that's injured, are actually upstairs because they're trying to find. You know, they see the TV, uh, TV whatever, follow able. But even though Morgan is still a little bit hot, she's able to understand. You know, they're trying to find something. You know, to like I said help out and also say you know save it everybody's life you know besides bitch ass clip and whoever you know they realized it was like setting up to get all of them on the line okay make this a typical you know it usually a scary scary movie but what happens was is that they're able to stop the light you know but the blackening isn't that something the blackening because again the lights go black out so it's between Dwayne's able to go over there and it's in between Quiffa and you know attention uh, you got that you know got the arrow and stuff like that like okay who am I supposed to hit and you like they're like no to the left to the right to the right to the front okay they didn't do all that but what I'm saying is because they can't really see because it's dark but it's, you know, and, but Dwayne's, Dwayne's trying to get, you know, they, of course, coming in like, okay, no, you shoot over here. You shoot over here. You shoot over here. Who am I supposed to shoot? And so, eventually, I think, again, they either hit shoulder or something, but they do hit or something. And Dwayne's able to get, um, able to do, you know, a sweet chin music, uh, kick, and is actually able, because, well, Shaniko is like this, who do I hit? Okay. Because also, too. They were surprised, like the band saw the thing. But he, it, uh, by the way, could have ended up serving four years. And he had hatred amazing. Like, not only were like, y'all able to be successful, Lisa is an attorney. I think that I mean, he is like successful in his um business as a troll, tr like owns a whole, g you know, uh, gym center, fitness center, or something like that. And, you know, everybody else is like. Um, successful in their own right and he blames him for the four years which I'm probably at least to get 11 because man smart but he's like I you know basically he's going to get revenge you know for all this so but like I said you know she didn't go for this how she could find like where to shoot at on the left side because the Wayne said say something about her about her she, she, she said something no she didn't say the F word nothing like but she said why well, I took you a story about him whining or something and that's when she find out where to, sh to shoot with, um the arrow so all of a sudden like I said after Wayne was able to do sweet 10 music and they were near a well where he put I guess Morgan you know Morgan's in the shots but like I said he in up there was a blackness about him as far as not having morals in the soul and justifying taking the time out to do all this crazy stuff. No, you, you a killer. You a kill, kill. Okay. So he fell into the deep well, and then we hear like this <laughs> laugh, where maybe either he was like accepting his fate kind of laugh and maybe they were here or you know maybe they were like rooting to maybe a sequel in the film but he never came back the rest of them whatever so everybody who's alive what we left for majority actually the film um is left well we gotta say goodbye to even you know racist question mark ranger white he you know he is he going bye bye morgan and sean um morgan sean and uh who, who gives them a quirk, uh, quirk clip on his ass and the damn and the damn the people under the stairs twins racist ass fucks um but so the next day the sun comes up Dwayne ends up changing his corn to life so the Bay Pellet. Because they're all smoking weed and stuff like that. And they was like thinking, like, you know what? Should we go ahead and um 
and tell the cops about because you know the way administration <laughs> said come like because the bills and stuff might come about about this whatever but you know of course they laughed and it's like should we tell the police about this shit <laughs> like <laughs> and then i think i forgot they twin was the one like say everybody's cool now cool by y'all they survived the night the next day and like i said they're like, okay, well, you know, we ain't gonna, we ain't gonna be cool. The fire house is coming and stuff, and blah blah blah. Say, guess what, y'all? <laughs> Why the hell? <laughs> Cause you gotta look at the like through the credits until like the but in the credits, y'all. Why the hell? <laughs> Next minute, we see a damn hose, and then they're just like this. Oh gosh, they were like this. I guess the fire hurt. We we didn't see the fight. Fire people, we just see how they got holes down. They like half of them are falling to the ground. Like I said, King survived. Should a sneaker survive? Uh, Nadine survived. Dwayne survived. Alan survived. Elise Lisa survived. Okay, but so, but I just half of them got holes down. So even though they didn't call the police, they still got holes down. So it was something else race racist that was done to them, which was hosing them down. But that was the end of the movie. To me, it was a good, good movie, whatever. I know, like I said, I was yapping, yapping, whatever. But it was a nice movie. You know, it, it was half tired. It had a little horror. But it was. It did have a lot of fun, funniness, uh, funniest to it. And still, if you got time, you get this fuss up. It, a thumbs up. I was able to watch it. So even though it's a scary movie, I'm like I said, I don't, I don't play that. Sh I don't like that horror, the horror stuff at all. <laughs> but anyway, y'all, I'll, I'll see y'all in the next video. So thank y'all for the who have listened and have w w w watched the video, which is mostly pictures and stuff. But you know, yeah, I, I, I try my best. But other than that, I, I hope y'all enjoy this. And like, you know, like I said, again, shout, uh, hugs and love to everybody. Y'all have a good weekend. Hope this video will be out uh, before, uh, be in the next day or two for when I recorded it. Um, but anyway, yeah, see y'all in the next one. Take care.